Assalamu alaikum everyone. I wish you the best of today. I'm going to be dealing with an aspect that I think we should be uh, conversant with. Just so many things happen in this world. I know people are dying. There is war going on. People are stealing from each other. You know, somebody get killed without knowing why he killed. And the person that got killed doesn't even know why he's got killed. And the person that killed doesn't even know why he's killing. And just so much thing going on. People are, you know, hampering and all this kind of stuff. There is so much mis mischief and there is so much, uh, you know, pain and worry in this world. And everybody is, uh, you know, being hustling on top of each other. You know, it's like a doggy dog world. If you could kill somebody, kill him as long as, you know, you're not going to get caught. Uh, if you're going to steal from somebody, go ahead and do that stealing as long as, you know, you not get caught. If you're going to embezzle, if you're going to encroach in somebody's space, go ahead and do it as long as, you, I mean, uh, you don't get caught. And that is what the world is teaching us today. But sometimes we have to lay back and look at what is happening and know that nothing happened by itself without any primal mover. Whatever happened, happens at the right time that the creator have set it to be. If there is beginning, definitely, eventually, there's going to be an end. Uh, we've seen what is happening today. And believe me, there's going to be a time that all these ruffians, all these killers, all these thieves, all these uh, leaders that are leading the world and stealing and milking nations and corporations and institutions, people that are taking from the poor all the time and they never get satisfied and they keep doing it. People are the ones that have set up this uh, new world order. There's going to be a court that they instituted, which they set it up. And so once you get caught, they take it to their own institution that they have set it up. And they have their rogue, you know, uh, judges and uh, persecutors and they take care of business. And so the poor is always getting poor and the, um, the rich is getting, you know, uh, much, much richer. And those who are at the helm of things feel that they are the ones that are in charge and that uh, there is nothing that's going to happen to them if they die. They're even talking about if they die, they're going to go and rest and go to heaven. No, that's not the case. Allah is going to judge you based upon whatever you did in this dunya, in this world. If there is no judgment day, that means the world that we live in have no meaning. I mean, if it's true, because uh, that what is happening in this world is a proof that definitely there must be a day of judgment. There must be a day that Allah or God Almighty will restore things at order. And that day is coming eventually, willingly or unwillingly, whether you believe it or not, is still going to come. And the Quran have spoken too much on that day. You know, the day that no one will help you, the day that your deed is going to help you, the day that whatever you do in this world, the hand that causes you to do a lot of stuff is going to speak. Your eyes going to speak, your nose and mouth and ears and everything. They're going to bear witness unto you. The leg that you walk upon, they're going to bear witness that, oh my Lord, I walked to this place, I walked to that place, I've seen this and I've seen that they bear witness unto you. So man can have to sit back and think about what is happening today and know that eventually there's going to be a time we will face our judgment. And that time, Allah have mentioned in the Quran, and I want you to listen carefully how Allah meticulously carved out this verse and placed it in the Quran to be inconsistent with the world that we live in. Allah said about the leaders of today, وَزَنَّ أَحَلُهَا أَنَّهُمْ قَادِرُونَ أَلَيْهَا آتَاهَا أَمُرُنَا لَيْلًا أَوْ نَهَار Here Allah is saying, when the world comes very close, the near, we are so near to each other. What takes you 10,000 years, now you can see that within a minute. There is highways and byways, flowers, beautiful, you know, building and highway. What is so far have come so very close. And then the leaders who feel that they are the ones that own, that, 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 that own the world. The way they speak, it is as if they own the world. The way they do things, it is as if they are the ones in charge. It is as if they are the ones that created the world. Then Allah said, Alayha ataha amuruna. That's the time that I'm going to send them my commandment. That's the day of judgment. And Allah said, Laylan aw nahar. Some will see it in the night and some will see it in the day. Meaning that this revelation that Muhammad received was given by Allah to him because how could he have said, Laylan aw nahar. Day of judgment will be night for them or day for them. Meaning the time zoning, the time zoning. The Quran recognized the time zoning that some will see the day of judgment 
in the morning and some would see it in the night. It's going to happen but once. And it is true. We just, you know, understand the mechanism of the universe. When we land on the moon, we can see that the part, half part of the world is in darkness and half part is in the light. That's the time zoning. So the Quran recognized that, that the day of judgment will come. But some will see it in the night and some will see it in the day. Meaning the Quran have hit the mark of judgment day. And time zoning. Who then told Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this piece of information that is consistent with modernity? Man can have to be very careful. It's going to be a time. The time is coming. The time is now. Now is the time that you have to be careful. Whatever you do, whatever you say, how you interact with the people in the community, plays a major role. It goes a long way. Allah will judge into all these things. Definitely, this is just a reminder for me and for you. I hope we take it and make use of it before it's too late. Hazabillahi tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala.